is the two beaten semi-finalists from last year. And so this has all the trappings of being extremely good. Well, it, this is from the top half of the draw, and you can see that former world champion Lo Ken Yu, he's safely through. Shiu Chi, he's a former champion, won the title here in 2016, also through. And so is the beaten finalist from 2019, um, Jonathan Christie. So who will join uh, those in the quarterfinal stage in the top half tomorrow? Well, the two beaten semi-finalists from last year do battle for a quarter-final place this year. Kodai Naraoka, there he is, the silver medalist from the recent World Championships in Copenhagen. Also a bronze medalist at the Asian Games up against Lee Chek Yu. Well, this will be a third meeting between these two players and the third meeting this year. Both previous meetings have been won by this man, Kodai Naraoka, and both in two straight games. Last time they met was in the last 16 of the World Championships in Copenhagen. And of course, with Naraoka going on to take the silver medal, he obviously won that last 16 encounter. So I think Kodai Naraoka won the toss of the coin and has chosen ends. And I believe, if I could heard correctly, that this man, Lee Chuck Yu, has chosen to receive. Well, the last time they met, it was very one-sided. 21-11, 21-4. Kodai Naraoka is only 22 years of age, uh, born in Omori in North Hongshu. Uh, that equates to five foot eight, and he's returned to his career high ranking of three his 16th week in his third different spell and in the first round he beat a man promoted from the reserve list Guntapong Wangchalong of Thailand the bronze medalist from the world championships four years ago so to Lee Chek Yu he's uh, 27 years of age uh, born in Hong Kong China and uh, that equates to five foot ten Went up two places on the world ranking this week to 16. Has been a couple of places higher, 12 weeks across five different spells at his career high of 14. He beat Lu Guangzhou of China in the first round in two straight games. And uh, he's been in one final this year as Li Chuk Yu, that was the Thailand Open. That was a 500 event where he lost to Kunawut Widisan, who won those world championships in Copenhagen. So our court officials from this one from Korea and Australia. Wong Chun Han, who's just been overseeing the mixed doubles in our previous match, now back on. The coach is bench Ready to play. for Hong Kong's Lee Chek Yu. Only 14 points scored against his opponent the last time they met. And that is rather concerning if you are a, a fan of Lee Chek Yu. And I suspect the reason why he struggled the last time, in fact, struggled both times they played, is because Ladies and gentlemen, Naraoka likes to play long rallies. On my right, Kodai Naraoka. 
Japan. 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 Delightful. Well, I was saying that One, Lee Chuck Yu long. perhaps struggles against Naraoka because Naraoka likes to play long, long rallies, uh, retrieving quite brilliantly throughout the rallies. And as we saw from the first rally, Lee Chuck Yu is a, a wonderfully skilled player, technical skills of the very highest quality, and long. likes to really go for his shots well if his shots that he believes should be winners keep coming back he tends to get a little bit frustrated and that's why he struggles against Naraoka that's a beauty that's just the inside of the line three love Lovely net shot, forcing the short lift and the easy opportunity to play the winning smash. Look where that shuttle lands, way in front of Naraoka. This is over. Five, one. It's not reading the deception at all at the moment, Kodai Naraoka. Rally. Yeah, that's gone long. Service over. To and that's the sort five. of rally that Naraoka loves to play. Good variation on the attack from Lee Chek Yu. Going for the body smash.
magnificent get. And then makes the error on the next one. He was that at full over. stretch on the backhand Three, net six. and plays the perfect net shot. Then misses the easy one. Service over, seven, three. Another good rally. Oh, my goodness. What a backhand. I think oh. we can safely say that Lee Trek Hugh anticipated that shot across court. He's walking into this one. Look at that. Took that so early. Lee Trek Hugh. There was the backhand with full pirouette. Well, he does have a reputation, Kodai Naraoka, for, for taking an age in between rallies. Yeah, that was fast forward. Good follow up to the front to play the neck kill. Beautifully played from Lee Trek Yu. He's playing with a lot more patience. He's not getting frustrated at the moment that his opponent is retrieving an awful lot of shuttles. hint into the net by Naraoka on trying to return it to his opponent. Hoping to use up even more precious seconds. That's a beautiful shot. Eleven four the advantage for Lee Chuck Yu. And he's playing extremely well. And at the moment, Kodai Naraoka simply doesn't have any answers for the speed and variation of shot that's coming towards him. Court 
one, 20 seconds. Cut one, 20 seconds. Eleven four play. <laughs> Service over. Five eleven. Uh, I suspect he needs to do more of that, take more initiative. Naraoka rather than just playing his retrieving game. Yeah, like that. Six, eleven. Lose. Missed it. Seven, eleven. Play on. Brilliant. That's just delightful angle. He took that so early, Naroka. And then just chopped it across court. Look at the technique here. That is delightful. Players from Hong Kong have ever won a title here in any discipline. Uh, the French Open since the inception of the Super Series. In fact, no player from Hong Kong has ever contested a final at the French Open in that time frame. Super shot. That is over. 9-13. And there's only ever been one player from Japan that's won the men's singles title at the French Open. That was Kanta Suniyama. Two years ago, beat Cho Tian Chen in the final. Oh, good net shot. signs that this man from Hong Kong, China is beginning to get a little bit frustrated or 
perhaps beginning to feel that he's absolutely got to go for the lines to win a rally. And in trying to go for the lines, I think he's starting to make one or two errors. Hey! To the back line. 14, 10. It's good control considering his hitting with the drift. Wow, plumb on the line. Yosuke Nakanishi, the Japanese coach there. Eight of the 11 points since the mid-game interval won by the Japanese player. One point in it. And back level. 14 all. 10 of 13 points since the mid game interval. Kodai. So typical of Kodai Naroka. Working his opponent forcing his p opponent to go closer and closer to the lines. Ah! Yeah, well taken. Service and over. that was very important as far as Lee Chek Yu was concerned. 14. Shot, short lift. Yeah. All set up so with a tight over. spinning net shot. All. Oh, this is a remarkable recovery. And psychologically, I think if Lee Chuck Yu doesn't win this opening game, it will be very difficult for him to recover and come back in the second.
Great smash. Service over. 16, 15. Point for point now. Yeah, both players sensing the importance of that rally. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the longest rally of the match so far. And at this crucial stage for the first time, Kodai Naroka goes into the lead. Look at the look back at his coaches from Lee Chek Yu. That in itself is very telling. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it indeed was the longest rally, 41 shots. Seventeen, sixteen. Play. So first time in the lead. Oh, that's landed in. Yeah, he's hitting against the drift. More likely to stay in. Yeah, it does fidget until he's got uh, comfortable for his serve position. It's landed in. That's a misjudgment from Lee Trek. You 19 16. We turn the shot. Play. point opportunities game for Kodai Naraoka, having been 4-11 down at the mid-game interval. Fabulous. Kept his patience in that rally. Lee. Oh, my goodness, he needed 17, to. 20. Quick. 
Helm. Seventeen, twenty. Second game point opportunity for Naraoka. And this time he converts. 21-17, having been 4-11 down at the mid-game interval. Just extraordinary comeback. 25 minutes for that opening game in favour of the World Championship silver medalist. Well, a remarkable opening game there from Kodai Naraoka. The player from Japan, 4-11 down at the mid-game interval. 21-17, he wins the opening game. Well, this is uh, really going to test Lee Chek Yu's mental strengths and mental determination having had such a light lead not to convert it would be awfully easy to get disappointed and disheartened One, oh. good judgment Goodness. That was going well wide until it got deflected Ten, by one. the neck cord and then it landed in. Watch this net shot from Lee Chuck Yu. That's going well wide. It's the top of the tape. It's deflected back in. How extraordinary. Service over. 
three, two. Well taken, yeah. Studies ground at the net, Naroka. Yeah, that was a good neck shot. An even better lift. Look where Lee's feet are, right at the back of the court when he was playing that. Indicates that it was a very good lift indeed from Naraoka. It's a good serve. Oh, so didn't over. follow up on it. Oh, that's brilliant. That cross-court net shot. My goodness me, that's great skill from this man. Over. Six. Oh. Take a look at this backhand cross-court net shot. He played one that was an outright winner in the opening game. That was every bit as good. Look at that. Takes it early, just guides it across court. Nice. Service over. Seven, six. Thank you. Seven, six. Oh, that was 
a very, very loose backhand Service from over. Lee Chek Yu. Yeah, it just shadows the shot that he should have played. Nice, good return of serve. Naraoka complaining over. to the umpire, saying Eight, my opponent seven. moved before the serve was struck. Well, he should have flicked then. That's brilliant. What a super smash down the line. Nine, seven. Well, I've been impressed here by Lee Chek Yu because I've seen him crumble mentally in the past in Thank some you. matches. Really, really working hard mentally and physically. That's terrific. Ten seven. Service over, A, 10. Drifts wide, and it means that Lee Chuck Yu has the advantage interval. at the mid-game interval, as indeed he did in the opening game, but didn't manage to convert. So 11-8, it's a three-point advantage here in the second, whereas it had been a seven-point advantage in the first. Seconds, caught one twenty seconds. Thank you. We can your chair. Well, it was the second half of the opening game where this man, Naroka, really lifted his game. Eleven. Can he eight. do it again? Play. We're in the second game and winning two straight. Well, Lee Chuck Yu will have something to say about that. Is the sort of long rally that Naraoka loves. Yeah. And it serves him well once again. Nine, eleven. 
quick towel on me. Quick towel on me. Well, that doesn't look awfully quick to me. Yeah. Service over. Clever. Well, Play nine. from Lee Chuck Yu. That's a lovely Service shot over. from Naroka. Ten, Going wide. Yep. Eleven, twelve. And look at the little clenched fist after the rally from this man. He senses now is the time to pile on the pressure. level four of the five points since the mid-game interval my goodness me it's similar to the opening game isn't it although he was much further adrift in the opening game missed it 13 12 Nice. Service over. 13 all. Beautiful movement to that round the head position. No delay. No, no. No. Uh, the, the mistakes 13. are beginning to flow from Lee Trakyu's racket as he tars within the game. So the mistakes increase. Good defense. Service over. 14 all. Amazing defense, isn't it? That shuttle had gone way past him. Yeah, another error from Lee. 15, 
hand. Lovely angle. It's a battle, really, between the delightful 15, attacking play of Liu Chuk Yu against the incredible defence of Koda Naraoka. Beautiful defense again, that backhand. Yeah. Twice in the last, what was it? Three rallies, maybe four rallies. The backhand defense there where he plays it across court. Really changes the momentum of the rally. Super attack. Service over. 16. Oh. Use your foot. Use your foot. Over. Looked to me 17, as if he possibly 16. changed his mind there. Didn't seem committed to that net shot at all. It's going wide. Whole rally started with a change in the direction of the serve, 18, a low serve 16. out wide. I can't remember him doing that previously in this match. Brilliant. When he Service gets his over. angled smashes going, 17, they're an absolute 18. delight to watch. So crisp. Lovely technique. Just long. 18 all.
Oh, it's gone long. One so could just over. feel the tension 19, during 18. the rally. Almost silence from the crowd. Nineteen eighteen. Two points away from the quarter final. Kodai Naroka. It's 19 all. Will it be a game point or a match point? missed it it was the right that shot to over. play and the answer to me my question is it's a match point 20, opportunity Really taking his time. The umpire's already asked him to return to court. Twenty match point nineteen. He's done it on his first match point opportunity. 21-17, 21-19. The margin of his victory over Liu Chek Yu of Hong Kong, China. 52 minutes in duration. Match won by Kodai Naroka. 21-17, 21-19. Through to the quarter-final, where he will play against the beaten finalist from four years ago, Jonathan Christie. This is the final rally. The block finds the nets from Lee. Yeah. And then his reaction tells us that he is mightily pleased and relieved that that has done and dusted in two straight games. He was worried about that one, hence the celebration at the end. So as they take leave of the court, 21-17, 21-19 in 52 minutes. One more match to come. Men's doubles coming up in just a moment. Ben Lane and Sean Vendy of England against the reigning world champions, Kang and Saul from Korea.
Mrs. Ovo. Welcome back to second round action here at the Yonex French Open. One more match to come, and it's men's doubles. It is the European Games silver medalists, Ben Lane and Sean Bendy of England, up against the reigning world champions, Kang Min Hyuk and 